Electoral Commission has opened its results transmission service for scrutiny by presidential candidates in the October 26 repeat election. The access was given on Tuesday, just hours after IBC chairman Wafula Chabukati declared President Uhuru Kenyatta the president-elect. Now, the move by IEBC is aimed at dispelling any credibility concerns in the repeat poll that was boycotted by the opposition. The candidates, their agents and observers have, of course, uh, come out to examine or are allowed to examine and monitor logs in the electoral system from the time the first vote was cast and until the final tally was declared. Access to the result transmission server was part of the National Super Alliance's 12-point irreducible minimums that the Commission conceded to. So what will the next candidates or their representatives be looking for in the servers? To answer that question, joining me in studio now is Huntington Mumbo. He's an ICT expert. Thank you for coming into News Desk. This server has finally been opened after months of uh, the NASA um, alliance or coalition, if you like, saying that they need it opened to see to get evidence, so to speak. So, what will the representatives or the party agents be looking at once this server is opened? Uh, thank you, Akisa. Uh, <clears throat> it's an interesting uh, turn of events because. Uh, uh, <clears throat> the access to the server has been a big issue uh, over the time. And uh, now that it's finally opened, it probably lays some fears and uh, uh, issues to rest. Uh, what, however, we probably are, are, are not private with, mm -hmm. that access is, give, is given at which level? Yeah. And what is it that whoever has that access can do with the server? Mm -hmm. uh, as uh, in the previous uh, discussions and uh, uh, matters raised. I think you are aware that even when the court issued the order that the server be opened and logs be made available, at that point uh, what was provided to NASA was the printed logs from mm -hmm. the server, mm -hmm. which was not very useful to them. Uh, what we have not yet uh, known up to this point is what exactly is available to them to look at or for any other party to look mm -hmm. at, even though some uh, uh, inside information uh, is already out that uh, NASA is not interested to look at the server. So anymore. what might be the levels um, um, if uh, there will be any? Because uh, the Supreme Court ordered for read-only access. What are some yeah. of the levels of access that would be there for a server like that to be opened? Uh, a, a useful level of access will be a, an ad administrative level of access where you are able to actually read the actual uh, logs on the server itself. Note the results printed of the server mm -hmm. or uh, the uh, kind of displayed results. So the log in this case, what the log means would be telling you, for example, Kim's kit from Kibera constituency yeah. uh, submitted results at this particular time. And you can see that the Kim's kit is identified to belong to that Kibera constituency. And that at the time when that, that result was submitted, it was actually stationed in, for example, Olympic Primary mm -hmm. School. That's what will be useful. So you could see the time, the actual equipment that uh, was used to deliver that uh, result, and the actual result it, uh, it delivered. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So uh, one other thing about this is uh, <coughs> I'm really trying to <laughs> play here for both the parties. Mm -hmm. uh, it would be the argument would have been that how come the media and other players were not given uh, real-time kind of access to yeah. this so that mm -hmm. as the results were coming in, mm -hmm. then everyone could see them. But also, I don't think it's uh, so useful at this point to mm -hmm. access the servers because we basically had one person competing against almost himself. So mm -hmm. it's not a very uh, crucial thing at this point. But mm -hmm. then... Opening up that server would have required, like I've said, getting access to the actual logs so that we can determine the times, the locations, and when uh, these votes were uh, submitted, and also uh, being able to verify that actually that's what occurred at mm -hmm. that point of time. Mm -hmm. yeah. Just from some of the banter that has been there, even on, on the social media and beyond mm -hmm. that, the IEBC had, the NASA consistently asked the IEBC to open these servers after the August 8th. They completely refused yeah. until when uh, the mm -hmm. Supreme Court ordered for read-only access. Mm -hmm. So why now? And uh, of course there's speculation that they might have cleaned it up. Is, is, is this possible? Just uh, from <laughs> where you sit as an expert, yeah. what can be done and what cannot be 
done uh, with regard to manipulation mm. on that particular server? Yeah, I want to answer that, but I, I want to start first by uh, making this point again, which I made in my last show, that mm. I think the political players here, and IBC being the main player here, they are making IT look really bad and actually spoiling for... I mean, we are talking of Kenya being a, a, a the, the silicon savannah, mm -hmm. and these are not the kind of things we should be seeing for an economy that is supposed to be relied on by other African countries yeah. as the ICT hub. Now, uh, <clears throat> why would IBC come out now and say they have now opened the server? Two mm -hmm. possible things. One is uh, they're trying to debunk any possibility that NASA might go to court to make challenges. And one of the main issues that arose at that time was that the servers needed to be open. So they are saying, even if you go to court, if they asked us to open the server, we already uh, opened up the server. Mm -hmm. So uh, that, that will water down their case when that comes up. Uh, two, there's also another important aspect. Uh, as we talk about the ICT, these systems and everything that's going on, it's also important for us to recognize what does the law say. I'm not a lawyer, yes, but there are a few things that we need to kind of pick out. Mm -hmm. uh, the results transmission or uh, the tallying, the, the final tally of the uh, voter turnout is supposed to be uh, recorded at exactly 5 p.m. That is when the poll uh, the stations close. So uh, since that was not done and it now comes to be done uh, two days after, then that could put some question marks. Secondly, uh, is it possible that uh, these uh, results or transmissions can be changed? It's very possible. If the IBC uh, people or experts have access to the servers, uh, they have administrative rights that they can make alterations, they can. The only thing is that some of those alterations can be tracked and actually identified as, as having been uh, made by third parties. Mm -hmm. Which is why I said, when you say you are giving access to the servers, then it really depends on what level of what access level have of you access. given. Because yeah. if you've given me the access to the point where I'm able to determine and track changes that were made, then that is useful. But if you give me access to see what you are publishing off to the screen, that's not very useful. So at this point, we don't know exactly to what level uh, they have provided that access. But, uh, but then again, for IBC to just clear its name of yeah. the maki, what yeah. has it put itself in, in the name of elections, yeah. the administrative uh, access would have been better for them? Yeah, th that would have been better. In fact, oh, they probably needed just to have three experts, one from NASA, one from Jubilee, mm -hmm. and one from IBC, mm -hmm. and have all of them have the same level of access probably even sit simultaneously and access the same server at the same time. So that would have made it look more transparent and uh, uh, probably put to rest these questions that have been coming up. So okay. up to now, I, I'm not really sure exactly mm -hmm. whether them saying they've opened up the server is useful. Okay. Yes. Huntington Mambo, ICT experts, just uh, helping us understand what we're looking at uh, with IBC finally deciding to open up its servers. We're just about to get to the tail end of the show. Mike League.